I've been here in the comfort of Marina Mandelo about six weeks. It's been great and easy on my leg, which is still not quite healed. But my dear Wendy would come by and help in the healing. She'd force me to dance and, as well, make me Wendy made oven baked pizza. I did not have an apron to offer, so she took one of my shirts. I invited her to come for a weekend sale, but she had no one to take care of her son. So it would be just me and my new crew member, Linda. This wasn't the best outgoing maneuver. The wind was blowing fairly strong and I was out of practice to be fair, but we were off. I met Linda a few days ago. She was doing the rounds of the yachts looking to hitch a ride. She had come down on catamaran from the Canaries and hopped off. Apparently, the captain made unsavory advances and she politely declined. It set for a bad ambiance with her and the captain, so she went looking for another boat. Finally out to sea, and we got a new crew member. Her name is Linda, and here everybody thinks she's Linda, that means pretty. And uh, she's from Holland, but we'll find out more about her later. She's happy to be at sea. You know, those Dutch people, they're just sea people, man. So I offered her one of the free cabins in which she could stay until she found another boat. If not, and we got along, she could sail with me in Galapan. This outing would test both her and Galapan's new anchor chain setup. So far, she's doing just fine, and we'll see about Galapan when we anchor. Just a few miles south of Vendelo is one of my favorite anchorages of the island. When the wind is blowing constantly and grinding on my nerves, I know I can come here and find calm and tranquility. And as well, I find my friend Bomba. He's here with two lone tourists for a diving excursion with Edder from Dive Tribe. Today, he said they saw a manta ray. Peter checked his new anchor also. Problem is here, little to no sand. So he thought he'd wedge his anchor behind this rock. As for me, I let out a lot of chain and the weight of it holds Galapan. I've been here before. We went for a visit and a few drinks. The gang was here and they had a grok. Good for me. Peter made us awesome burgers and we spent the calm and quiet evening.
rumbling was not so calm and quiet for Peter. His anchor chain made a rumbling noise all night and jerked and pulled. It turned out it was that rock. The chain got wrapped around the rock when the boat circled around during the night. Now he had to free himself, which tested his lung capacity. Peter, not one to give up easily, freed himself and we were off to our next destination, a couple miles up the coast. The wind is in your face, so it's not worth putting up the sails. found a way to entertain himself. We anchored here at Praia Fatesia. The place is known for its natural pools formed in the rocks. The only way there is on foot. It's about a two hour walk or you can come by boat and walk along the coast for about half an hour. The girls love this place and we promised to take them there. Peter had gone up ahead to give you a bird's eye view of the spot. It was cold today by Cape Verdean standards, so no one went for a swim. Just a few photos for memories and, you know, social media.
Lily showed the girls the little sand-dwelling bugs she'd play with when she was a kid. Then we all paddled our way back to our floating home. The night proved to be a serious test for our anchors. The wind blew at over 30 knots. Peter's anchor slipped and he had to re-anchor twice. As well, the swell rocked us uncomfortably and we were out of there early in the morning. Now, we're ready to go further. And further we will go. great to have you along on this voyage. Give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you feel any value in this series. Me and Gallopin promise you a good time every Wednesday. So welcome aboard. Mm -hmm.